Hey, what's up, hello? Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. My name is Kayla, and I am here today with my friend, Molly. <laughs> and we are going thrifting at the Goodwill. We are. Hello, so today the plan is we are going to go thrifting. Now, I'm looking specifically for some winter, spring sort of transition pieces that will work in your wardrobe. So things like cardigans, sort of mid-weight sweaters. Yeah. I think wool items could still work like in terms of bottoms, so like wool skirts and things like that. And of course, right now I'm really into like the 60s sort of aesthetic. Yeah, that's which big. yeah, it's coming yeah. back. It's coming back in fashion, like the '60s, '70s, and so I want to see if I can find some cool '60s things. Our Goodwill yeah. has fantastic vintage pieces usually, so I'm excited to see if I can find some sort of '60s things. What are you looking for? I think I'm looking for a new dress. Yeah, and since it's still wintry, I like like the knit dresses or wool. So I think that's yeah. what I'm looking for. Where you could wear with like match with different color tights. Oh yeah, Something very like twee. <laughs> yes, I did like the twee. The twee. Did trend. you know it was called that? Not until I watched your video. Yeah, I didn't know it was called Linked. that. <laughs> I didn't know it was called that until I saw it all over TikTok, and I was like, oh, I remember wanting to dress like that and not being able to afford it when I was in high school. <laughs> well, I was really excited because I was like, because I like Gossip Girl and I really yes. like Blair Waldrops. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, mm -hmm. I liked her fashion. I'm like. Well, now I have a name for it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> for how she dresses. I think she's sort of like preppy meets Twee, so she's kind of a combination of the two, but yeah, I would agree. Yeah. Um, also, you guys, today is kindly brought to you this video by the Goodwill of Central and Coastal Virginia. I will talk to you guys a little bit more about them and why I think thrifting is the way. So, yeah, let's head inside and go do some shopping. We just dropped let's off some go. donations. So, yeah. All right, let's, let's go. It. Also, I forgot my tripod, so I'm so, so sorry. So, so sorry if the filming is all over the place. Okay, so I'm gonna start in the sweater section because I think that is a great way to sort of build an outfit is by starting with like a top, especially if you wanna do something sort of statement on the top as opposed to the bottom. Honestly, if you're gonna build an outfit, I would start with whatever piece you think will be like a statement piece. So I'm gonna start with the sweaters and then move on from there. So let's. Peruse. All right, we're in the skirt section now, and they have a pretty wide variety. That's really pretty. Mm -hmm. This so cool. is very dark academia. It looks tiny. Four. Yeah. Four. But this is like a very cool sort of dark academia vibes skirt. To be honest, I think what I'm mostly looking for are sort of more circle skirts, wool skirts, and more vintagey like pieces. I also am thinking I want to try some 
pencil skirts maybe, but only if they're like a comfortable material because I'm all about comfort. So that's the plan. So knitted things are back in trend for the season. And so this could be a really interesting thing, but I think you'd have to probably layer it over top of something. This is interesting. This is like a maroon pleather. This is very like 2000s, 90s when people were wearing like pleather pants and stuff. Yeah. I remember wearing pleather pants to high school. It's a size four. Tights or whatever. Right Stockings. I like it. Right yeah. All right. I might try. It. Try it. I'll yeah. Try it so. Oh, this is an Ann Taylor skirt, actually. Oh. So, that would be cute for late afternoon. What size four? <laughs> Lots of flats. Hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah. So I was saying this before, but this is. A beautiful print. I love the like the colors of the class. And it is actually on trend. My friend and you are on trend again. Okay, on to the dresses we go. I think dresses are easy to style in the winter you just layer up underneath them and you can easily chuck a sweater on over top of them and that way they make them perfect transition pieces because then on warmer days you just lessen the layers and you're good to go. This could work really cute as like a sort of vintage EP. Oh my god. I don't know if this is gonna fit me, but I'm trying it on. Oh. I would actually wear this like on the regular. This is so cute. But I basically am a 90s mom, I and I, so. <laughs> We're just like a vintage mom. That's why it works so perfectly and why it's also very funny. I never find overalls and I've been dying for a pair, but I don't think I like these ones. <laughs> just adding to that 90s mom vibe. It's very early friend. It is. Also, doesn't this kind of remind you of something Rachel would have worn? I went a little ham, 
so there's a lot of stuff but i think what i'm gonna do is a voiceover as usual so i'll try things on show you what they look like on and then talk about it in a voiceover so let the montage commence Okay, at first I have this black glittery skirt, and I did like it, but I just realized I was never going to wear it. So, And it was also way shorter than I'm comfortable with, so I did decide to pass. Up next, we have this 90s mom's dress, as we liked to call it. Honestly, I kind of wish I would have gotten it. I think I wanted it to be like the slightest bit shorter, which is why I passed on it. And I also didn't love how the shoulder pads looked in it, but part of me kind of wishes I got it anyway. Because I feel like it's such a cool just unique vintage piece okay up next i tried on this pastel pink sweater and i love it the sleeves are incredible i've never actually seen a sweater like this so of course i did in fact get this one i love it so much and it definitely plays with the 70s vibes with like the bell sleeve love it then I tried on the short sleeve, sort of mustardy yellow, kind of like a goldish yellow colored sweater. I decided to pass. I wasn't a big fan of how it fit. It was just a bit too oversized. Then I tried on this dog sweater and I love it. It's so cute. Come on. I'm such a dog person. And I just thought this was adorable. And it also looked really nice with the skirt I was wearing. And then I tried on this feral cardigan and it just reminded me of St. Patrick's Day so much, which is coming up. And I thought it was so cute. I think it would look adorable tucked in. So I did actually decide to go for this one as well. I'm also loving green right now. It's really having a moment. Then I tried on this like sort of spring toned striped sweater. I really liked it, but I also just wasn't like sold on it at the time. But now that I'm watching the footage back, I kind of wish I would have gotten it because it's really cute and it would have been great in the spring. So Molly and I just got out of the dressing rooms. We picked out things and then we came over to the pants section and I just found these teal corduroy pants and I think I'm gonna try them on. I don't own any corduroy and so Molly and I were looking and we were thinking it could make like a cute 70s look. Yeah, definitely. So I'm gonna try them on but there's all the dressing rooms are full at the moment so we're just, you know, wasting time. <laughs> Perusing. Sadly, these corduroy pants were just not the right fit. You know, they fit fine but they were just like a weird sort of mid-rise and I just didn't like it high rise or die for me man hello welcome it is sponsor kayla today i'm here to talk to you guys a little bit about the goodwill particularly the goodwill of central and coastal virginia which is where i live and i'm gonna just talk to you guys a little bit about why i love them and why i think shopping goodwill is a great option especially for those of you who are wanting to try out new trends those of you who are wanting to to add some new pieces to your wardrobe so the goodwill obviously as you guys know is a secondhand store not only do they sell clothing but they also sell incredible home decor pieces like i'm gonna show you guys today and great accessories they have full-on furniture pieces and the other day when i was there they had the most incredible gold framed mirror I've ever seen in my life. Now I don't have a place for it, but if I did, you best believe I would have been buying it. It was like the most ornate gold, you know, those, the, it's the mirror everyone is always showing you. It's like the, the gold mirror frame that looks like it belongs in a museum. Nonetheless, the Goodwill has so many great things at affordable prices. Also, as we know, secondhand is a great way to approach shopping when it comes to trying out trends or adding new pieces to your wardrobe. Not only is it affordable, but it's also better for the environment. It's more sustainable than shopping fast fashion or shopping new, so it's always a great option. Further, I actually recently got to take a tour of the local Virginia headquarters and got to meet their team and just like talk to them a little bit about the initiatives that they're doing. And I have now gained even more appreciation for the work that the Goodwill team is doing over there. Not only do they have an initiative where they work with a medical supplies company to evaluate and give for free away these medical supplies that are donated because they can't legally sell them, but they don't want to just throw them out. So they work with a medical supply company to give them to people who need them but can't afford them, which I think is 
really freaking cool and an initiative i did not even know that they participated in the goodwill of central and coastal virginia they also obviously a big part of their initiative or their sort of mission is career development if you guys want to learn more about goodwill and all of the insanely cool initiatives that they have definitely check out your local goodwills facilities see if they do some tours and you can also check out their website which i'll leave linked down below so thank you to goodwill for working with me today and sponsoring this video <laughs> i am absolutely honored to be working with them um and now let's jump into the haul okay guys so it is the next day i'm back home everything has been washed and now i'm here to share with you the pieces i got my friend molly actually went home already um but she got an incredible cream colored sweater that was i think she said from american eagle it was just like incredibly soft really lovely material and then she also got this green long sleeve shift dress and it was like the most beautiful forest green it looked phenomenal on her as well as a gray knitted scarf that i think she's gonna pair with that dress so that's what she picked up and then i got four clothing pieces and a home decor item so i'll start with the home decor item because i'm perhaps the most excited about this it's this little cottage now you guys know i love the whole cottage core aesthetic and i also have two cottage teapots and then a cottage kind of like inspired i mean because it's not like a cottage you know it's like a very tall building but it's got like flowers and stuff and it's hand painted in ceramic like this um sort of pasta holder that says pasta on it um and all of those things are thrifted now this i picked up it's a napkin holder it's a napkin holder first of all i do recognize that probably not most people use napkin holders anymore it was something that my grandma always had on our on her table at her house and i and perhaps this is maybe like a grandma kind of thing but so am i i'm an 85 year old woman trapped in a 26 year old woman's body um so i loved this so much i will say it is chipped a little bit on this side and i didn't realize it until i brought it home so i was like a little tiny bit sad about that but i could actually probably fill that in with polymer clay if i was like that gutted about it or air dry clay because i wouldn't want to put this in the oven probably um but yeah i was really excited to pick this up it was four dollars and 25 cents i'm really excited to have this i love that it's got like the yellow in the windows to make it look like the lights are on and it's just these lovely like pink and purple flowers and the green sort of bushes and whatever and so yeah so excited to have picked this up up next everything else that i got was full price um and it was all sweaters <laughs> um so you know, I feel like I've, I have been talking about wanting to get some more sweaters, so I was excited to find some that I think are going to work really great. I think actually all of these are going to be great sort of winter to spring transition sweaters. Um, so I'll start with probably like the most wintry one first. So the first one I picked up is this one here. This is in a size large and it's from Walmart, I think. This is a Walmart tag. Um, and it says holiday time. It says, like I said, a size large. It is actually oversized, but that's totally fine. Um, I like oversized kinds of things. So this is just a gray knit sweater with a dog print yoke. <laughs> and it's so cute. It's got little, I think these are kind of like boxers and labs and a Scottish terrier, I think, on the bottom. And I just think this is so cute. You guys know I love dogs. My dog is actually sitting right here in front of me, <laughs> sleeping on my bed. Um, and yeah, I love animals and I love dogs. And when I saw this sweater, I kind of freaked out a little bit. I will say this is on the thicker side, but it is so soft and cozy and it is just a warm sweater and with it being a little bit oversized um it's not gonna make me sweat as much i feel like the tighter a sweater is the more i sweat so i actually quite like getting my sweaters a little bit oversized <laughs> so i was excited to pick this up it is beautiful and i think this actually had the brand new tags on it so it's never been worn as well i was happy to pick this up this may be my favorite clothing piece from this haul perhaps i don't know it's so hard because i feel like i really love all of these pieces which makes me so excited because i've really been wanting to be more intentional with thrifting and making sure i really love all the pieces that i buy instead of buying things that i kind of like and will probably wear yeah i really absolutely love this so excited also there's a little bit of glitter woven into this which i think is really fun so yeah i think technically this is a holiday like a christmas sweater but there's literally nothing on this that says i must be worn only at christmas time so I will be wearing this for the remainder of the winter. 
<laughs> up next this is a piece i think i will be wearing on st patrick's day this is a green and then the yoke is white with a sort of now i think this is kind of for me this looks like a four leaf clover <laughs> which is why I think I, I would, I'm probably gonna wear this on St. Patrick's Day. Um, so I think this is a sort of spin on like a Fair Isle or Nordic print to make it look a little bit more St. Patrick's Day-ish. I actually think that was kind of the intention behind this. So this actually w literally says this was made in 2004, <laughs> which is really cool. And it's from the c company Heirloom Collectibles, which I think is pretty cool this is in a size extra large and it does fit i would say closer to a large than an extra large but it is just a really cute sweater i absolutely loved it it felt very cottage core i think there's a lot of fun ways i can style this i also loved that it has sort of big clunky buttons on the front i really like big clunky buttons there is a really really small stain right in the front um so i asked my dad if he thought he could get it out and he said he does think so if you guys didn't know we call my dad the stain master because he knows like every formula ever to get stains out of everything um so i'm gonna ask him if he can take a look at that and see if he can get the stain out fingers crossed he can but even if he can't my hair will most likely cover that tiny little dot so i'm not overly concerned about it if it doesn't come out um so this was the same price all the sweaters everything was the same price so around six dollars <laughs> up next i got this red sort of maroonish poncho now i've been really into ponchos lately i don't know why like they're not on trend no one's wearing them i haven't seen anyone wearing them but I really like them. So I thrifted one a few months back. It's this really beautiful like mauvey pink one. And yesterday when I was in the thrift, I saw another one and I just thought it was really beautiful. It's got a really lovely knit pattern on it. And I, yeah, I just really liked it. So I picked this up and I'm excited to play with this. Honestly, I think the ponchos are gonna be one of those pieces I particularly grab for in the spring from when I'm like sitting outside on the front porch or on the back deck and not, or if I'm laying in the grass and just like chilling or working outside because I do that sometimes. These are just great because it's basically like a blanket that it won't fall off. <laughs> so I'm excited to have a couple of ponchos in my um, wardrobe. I would like to maybe make like a wool one, I think like a wool cape kind of thing, but in poncho form because I think, again, it's kind of like a blanket that you know isn't gonna fall off, which I really like and I honestly think they're underrated. I feel we should be wearing ponchos more. And then the final piece I got is just stunning. So this is just a really lovely, very delicate pink sweater. It's like a baby pink and it's got bell sleeves with this incredible floral embroidery on it. It is one of the most beautiful sweaters I've ever seen. Also from Walmart. This is a size large from the Faded Glory brand, which is not a brand they sell anymore, but holy moly, it is just so beautiful. It's made out of acrylic. It's made out of acrylic, so it's plastic, but it is so soft. Like it almost feels like cashmere and I love it. It is so beautiful. It basically looks brand new and I mean, I mean these sleeves, come on. And it, it just fits so perfectly. So I'm excited to wear this. I'm probably gonna wear it tomorrow, honestly. You guys, somehow I forgot to mention that I also thrifted the most gorgeous picnic basket on the planet of earth this thing is so cute not only is it like this beautiful woven wicker but it has beautiful medium to like dark brown leather strap details so like the handle has the leather work on it and then also you open it it kind of looks like a briefcase style and it's so cute now i actually go on picnics quite regularly in the spring and summer this is also really cute on the inside so on the inside as you can see it has this, this gorgeous traditional blue and white gingham print on the inside lining the basket and then it also has all of these different compartments for all of the picnicking tools also the gold chain keeping the lid like sitting open it didn't come with any of the cutlery the plates or whatever but that's totally fine i actually already own a set of bamboo cutlery that i really really like so i'll probably invest in some like bamboo picnic wear um as opposed to plastic very excited to have that it, it was 775 which i feel is a great price for it it's in basically perfect condition like brand new condition there's like literally one piece of the weaving that is just popping out, which I actually think I could probably pop back in and then glue. <laughs> so 
I don't think it will be an issue at all. So yeah, that's everything that I got at the thrift store this time around. I didn't really get too, too much, but I'm really excited to have these pieces. This pink sweater is quite light. So um, again, I think all of these pieces are gonna be really great items to bring with me for the rest of winter. We have a few more weeks left of winter into early spring. And then some of these I can wear probably for all of spring so like a cardigan you can wear at any point during the spring and the poncho for sure as well the pink sweater is quite lightweight so as long as it's not you know like 80 degrees outside i should be good to wear it yeah that is everything i picked up i am really pleased with everything that i got and um thank you again to goodwill for working with me another time i'm so excited to have had this opportunity to work with them i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know what do you think which of these pieces is your favorite also are there any themes you want me to go thrifting for in the upcoming months and i think that's all i have for you so don't forget to subscribe down below give the city a thumbs up if you enjoyed and also don't forget it costs absolutely nothing to be kind so be kind to yourself and others and i'll see you next week bye